Um, when we talk about evolution and how do you guys know it's true and stuff, there's a lot of um, misinformation out there about evolution. And there's a lot of places where um, evolution kind of makes um, mistakes or doesn't do things the best way that it can. Um, so I wanted to to get your guys' take on um, the term survival of the fittest. And like, I, I find that term so, 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 so problematic. And I wanted to have you guys address that um, for the audience. Um, evolution is not survival of the fittest, but in your guys' estimation, what is it? Reproduction. Well, it, would, it, it would be important to point out that Herbert Spencer is the one that came up with that. It was a, it, It's a, not a concept in science. It's a concept in ep economics. And it was also a class system structure where it was, okay. uh, where the, it was the rich people of the time being superior to the poor and working class is what that kind of was all about. Um, Darwin said something vaguely similar uh, in 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 organisms being better adapted to their their given environment at that moment, you know, and and he didn't uh, he didn't agree with every, it, things like uh, superiority or inferiority. He says these are determined determined by the environment entirely. Yeah, Darwin talked about. He asked the question of what would happen if uh, you had a continent of of uh, marsupial type mammals and a continent of placental type mammals, and you broke down the barrier and he talked about how he felt the placental mammals were superior because of that environmental difference, they would sort of take over. But I think the key thing here is you have to use the term, uh, if you want to use the term fitness, that's okay. So evolution in part is about fitness and that's not survival necessarily. And it's, and it's, and fitness has to do with reproduction. So, yes. You know, yeah. uh, uh, there's kind of two broad views of evolution, a neutral theory and the adaptive uh, approach. And, and the dichotomy between the two is an utter falsehood, in my opinion. But um, uh, differential fitness is an important concept in evolution. And so that's good. But that's, of course, too close to survival of the fittest to not be really careful with your terms. And you're right. It is a very annoying term. One of I was just going to throw this in really quick. When I was teaching high school biology bunch of farm kids in the Bible Belt. I was talking about this earlier before we went live. I like to bring up the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> so I would say, I love this example. I don't have to outrun the zombies. I just got to outrun you. And there's lots of different ways I can do that. And then if you perish, I get to pass on whatever genes made me better at this than you onto my children. And so whether I it's wily coyote strategy or running faster.